In this video, we will go over some useful graph definitions. A graph is a flexible data structure that can describe a variety of real-world data. Graphs consist of nodes representing objects and edges representing relationships between these objects. We note here that in the literature, the terms nodes and vertices are used interchangeably. This is the same for the terms edges and links. Depending on the field, the terms graph and network may also be interchangeable. Graphs may be either directed or undirected. In a directed graph, as the name implies, edges have a direction. And for example, an edge going from node 3 to node 4 is distinct from an edge going from node 4 to node 3. No such distinction is made in an undirected graph. A graph may have one or several types of nodes. If all nodes in a graph are of one type, we call them homogeneous graphs. If a graph has several types of nodes, they are known as heterogeneous graphs. For example, knowledge graphs are heterogeneous graphs where nodes may represent several entity types such as person, location, institute, etc. Let's look at a couple of data structures used to store graphs. The first one is an edge list, which is simply a list of pairs of integers, where the first integer is the index of the source node, and the second integer is the index of the target node. The graph structure on the left here is fully described by the edge list on the right. You should check this. Another data structure that is commonly used to store graphs is the adjacency matrix. An adjacency matrix is a square matrix, and it encodes the connectivity of the nodes in a graph. For example, if there is a directed edge from node 5 to node 8, then there is a 1 on the 5th row and the 8th column of the adjacency matrix. Graphs representing large real-world networks are usually sparse and in those cases, most entries in the adjacency matrix are zeros. Sparse matrix formats can be used to efficiently store such adjacency matrices. Sometimes it is useful to only work with part of a graph. For example, if we want to visualize a small subset of a graph or to process graphs that are too large to fit in memory. An induced subgraph consists of a subset of nodes from the original graph as well as the edges between them. An example of this is shown here, where the induced subgraph for the nodes colored in green is shown on the right.